Hey everybody, and we're back. This is Miss Scarlet Tanager with some Let's Play Xenosaga Episode 1. When we last left off, Momo had gotten herself kidnapped because she's not smart. Now, before we go save her, off screen I did some little running around and opening of segment dresses, and I got two more robot parts. So we're gonna go get ourselves a robot. Well, part of one. I still have a little ways to go before I can get the rest of the robot. Professor's Giant Robot Training Hall, Chapter 3. Episode, Hyper Assistant Scott appears. There's a slight change in the environment. <laughs> I love how there's no voice acting for these guys until later games. Good of you to notice. Actually, I have an assistant now. I can't remember who his voice was. Er, don't you know what an assistant means? An assistant is a status symbol for a genius scientist. I think funding is a signal is a sign of that. Make your mark on the universe. What is this? What is with your attitude? She's an android. So why did you come here today? You located more robot parts. I I can't monotone like Cosmos can. It's just not something I can do yet. You must show this to Assistant Scott too. Hey, Assistant Scott. Yes, what is it, Professor? These guys are my loyal underlings, and by my orders, they're collecting robot parts. It seems they've got a new robot part today! Wow, so you people are the Professor's underlings? No! Oh, to Cosmos not! Currently, my only commander is Xion, but please consider us as such in order to save face. <laughs> I love you, Cosmos! <laughs> By the way, that, by the way, is not something she would say. She would just demand it. What is your name? If you do not have a specific rank, I will refer to you simply as Scott. Yes, please call me whatever you like. No! Assistant Scott is Assistant Scott! Calling Assistant Scott just Scott would be like calling me Prof A or Pro! Since I'm neither Prof A nor Pro, Assistant Scott is Assistant Scott! <laughs> I like you in the perfect voice. That is an illogical argument. It is pointless to discuss this issue any further. We came today to have more robot parts modified. Yes, that's right! Then, let's go! Assistant Scott! Okay, apparently he needs his help now to put the damn things together. These are the robot parts you brought! Then here we go! Begin transformation! Let me just completely destroy this keyboard here by just pounding away at it. Not even touching the keyboard, but things are happening. And then suddenly, we have a new thingy robot! Set this up in the ether for Shion. Summon it during a battle and you'll blast away the enemies! Why always Shion? Why can't it be an ether for Cosmos? I don't like Shion. Game, you can keep trying to make me like Xion, you're not going to succeed. Anyway, I don't have any of the other robot parts that we need. So... We're gonna go onwards with the storyline. <laughs> and just so you know, I made a stop at the dot colony and I think I upgraded the eggs? I can't remember, it's been a couple days. Hmm. <clears throat> no co- why is there an un unnecessary lines that I can run on? Just give me straight lines from place to place. It's not that hard game. Okay, time to go save Momo. I try not to die while doing it. I say try, because I probably will. And people are still trying to evacuate from the Kukai Foundation despite the fact that Damarung has pretty much taken care of the Gnosis. Yes, I do want to go to the rapid. I want to enter the phallic ship. Really, that ship is extremely phallic. Ah. 
Step, 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 step. Okay, that's just fun to do, just going up and down that scale later is like that. Especially with Cosmos, because she acts like she's a jack rabbit. Oh, now I almost fell out of my chair. That would have been bad. There we go. Slightly more comfortable seating arrangements. My computer is unhappy. I'm gonna have to, be, gonna have to let it rest later. <gasps> mm. Sorry about that, guys. I accidentally hit the stop recording button. My bad. Let's not stop the recording. Because that would mean I would record an entire thing without uh, stuff. I, I don't know where I'm going with this. Matthews, let's go rescue the Momo. I don't intend to leave the song in Ephilim until we rescue Momo. Great! Let's do it. <laughs> and stuck doing this. You better fuck over a lot of hazard pay. Or we can just erase your death. God damn. <laughs> I want one of those for my birthday. Captain, there's an opening to the side where we can dock. <laughs> Convenient. Right. Bring us in, Tony. Be careful. Roger. Closing in and approaching the- Wait! Huh? Tony, can you show me the top? What? You want me to go around the top? Damn straight! Please, just circle around the top! Great. She's gonna go all flashbacky. <sighs> Alright. I like once Tony. Once around is all you're getting. Who knows what's up there? I like Tony. He's so sweet. He is also too good for Shion. So she does recognize it from right outside her mommy's That's sick it. room window. <laughs> That's oh dear. The place I saw through the hospital window. So she delayed them just so she can confirm that. <gasps> Shion, Momo could be possibly getting you know terribly, terribly, terribly destroyed and mind fucked over. And you wanted to circle around the top, race, wasting precious time. Well, the noses are also attacking outside. Just so you can confirm a suspicion. You could have done that later. But no, she had to do it now. And everyone just went along with it. And these load times... These load times are too long. I'm gonna have to go get a book so I can read to you guys in the meantime. One second, two second, three second, four. Oh, well, glad they have one of these things so we're not sucked into the vacuum of space. That would be bad. Okay, we're going inside the Song of Nephilim. This is gonna be terrible. Oh, wait a minute. Momo! Hi! Momo! 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 She you can't right? hear anyone. Okay. She has Tell been mind fucked. We're too late? No, yeah, you, you're, you're getting there. You're not too late just yet, but you're getting there. Damn that bastard! He's taking her consciousness! I'm gonna make him pay for this! Hold on, Momo. I'll make you whole again. And <laughs> she's all just like, I Junior, don't know anything. What happened to Momo? That monster Albedo's gone and reversed the spiritual link. It's the, are you going to explain link? anything? It's the opposite of what Guinan and I do when we communicate telepathically. Thank you. But by seizing someone's consciousness, you can delve deep inside the other person's mind and drag out whatever memories you feel like taking. You can't be serious. That means Momo's mind is... Yeah. It's best for you all to go back. Oh, I'll what? handle this on my own. Of course he will. Wait. Damn it, Junior! It's too dangerous to go alone. Damn straight, Jesus. Sorry. 
this is between me and him. All but right. if you fail, everyone outside is screwed along with the entire Kukai Foundation. Knock it off. Momo. You want to come with me? I'm going to. Shion. Don't you remember what you told me? This song. It's responsible for destroying Milsha Great. and bringing Great, they're going the to have a moment. World. I'm going to, and me, and to me. That place that I know of. That I'm not going to explain to the then, audience. This involves me as well. I'm going to explain nothing to anyone. So I guess we're all going. <laughs> Junior's attempt to get everyone out has failed. Why is there a thunderstorm in a building? Great! I remember this bullshit! We have to get to the center part of the spire by going through all three little outside spires and unlocking pathways! There's also monsters. Lots of monsters. And this song! Oh, and oh god damn it, this mother. If I remember correctly, we have to shoot as many blocks as levels we want to go to? So that was three. So we go up three levels? Okay. Might as well start at the next one up and just keep going from there. I don't know. Okay, anything over here? Nope, that's the shoot to go back down. There is fighting over here because there's always fighting. Phone! Forgot to turn you off. Um... Oh, great! These things have a lot more HP than I've been expecting. <laughs> also, we aliens that have gone crazy. Okay, so we'll try. Yeah. My phone is getting turned off. Nobody is supposed to be sending me messages while I'm trying to record. I keep telling them that, but nobody listens to me. Time for Cosmos to do her thing and punch it up and Oh! Hey, you're not allowed to attack, attack, tech, attack, all- You're not allowed to attack all of my characters at once. That's Cosmos' job. Not the enemies. Oh wait. Don't I have Momo back in the party technically? Why do I have chaos? Yeah, we will figure it out. Ready? Lunar seal! We definitely need Momo in the party. All systems clear. Oh well, at least I got some more points for uh, chaos. Even though we're not going to use him unless I have to. As much as I love chaos, I love Momo more. This song is very much unsettling. There she is! The totally Momo. Mm, might as well use them. Might as well get rid of them all. You know, this almost sounds like something that should be in um, Majora's Mask. Like Legend of Zelda Majora's Mask, it's just that kind of creepy. Great! Another fucking dude! Stay over there. Don't want you. Oh. What's this? 
Oh shit, hi! There's fuck all in this place. Good to know. That is not nice. You should not do that. I love how she's not supposed to be able to talk and is completely mute and had her consciousness stolen, quote unquote. But she can still talk during a fight. Oh well, it's a video game, it doesn't have to make sense. <laughs> okay, now it's your turn, honey buns. Time to kill everything because that's just what you do. <laughs> so much damage! All systems clear. Damn straight. Okay, we didn't get a- we got fuck all from that fight in terms of points. 